I worry. I don't. I, let's say I. I genuinely worry that there are. There's a demographic of people who kind of have been in the scene for a long time, who kind of fell out around that same time when everything kind of went to shit. Yeah. And they've decided to to stay out of it, but they still throw their opinions into yeah. the into the ring of Facebook and yeah. stuff. Because it's like I'll see people kind of throwing out negativity. Yeah. And it's like that. Uh, that scene in Mean Girls when the girl's talking on the thing and someone's like, she doesn't even go here. You know oh, yeah, what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah, yeah. That's how I feel about a lot of people on Facebook threads. I'm like, I mean, I don't know everybody. Yeah. I mean, we're just meeting for the first time today and we've been doing so much stuff. We've been in, on the scene for the same yeah. amount of time. But like, I, there's still know? some people that I see and it's like, who are you? But at the same time, who am I? Yeah. I have that hyper awareness to like, at least I don't like, throw my my jaded opinions into the ring i think i think everyone's got their own little they have their own angle and i think i think they have their own goal with whether it's you know getting into a better venue i mean everyone's at a different stage in what they want and i think there are a lot of hobbyists in pittsburgh still that sure. like to throw their opinions in the ring but the thing is is we have so much talent here and we have people who want to be more serious about their art they want to have better sound they want to yeah. have uh you know they want to have better experiences in the studio and actually put money towards something they can be proud of they mm -hmm. want to do all these things but i feel like you know the old stuff that's here like maybe some of the older venues some of the older mentalities are not like don't want to do that like they're a lot of the venues are like oh i can have music and then it'll bring people in you know, like it's that mentality um if you, you know we'll build it and then people will just come in but there's so many different facets to the promotion of it like if no one knows about it no one's going to come you know there's the sound requiring like musicians to have to haul all their equipment everywhere to to be able to play music and i feel like if we have venues in pittsburgh that are supporting music it's going to you know, it's going to yeah. grow. It's going to get better. The musicians are going to feel like, oh, yeah, I want to throw my money into a good quality recording because I want to I know I'm supported in my town. Something that I talk about a lot with promoting shows in venues and the main problem that I see is that people overlook that they're creating an event that's supposed to be an avenue of entertainment for people that are coming out to the event. There's a lot of bands that just throw shows for themselves. They're not thinking about the people that are going to come out. And There's that goes a, back to being, you know, thinking about the audience yeah, and, and not just about your own exactly. self. But, and that's the, where the hobby stuff comes in yeah. too. And there are venues that don't take into consideration like, oh, if I just open up my doors and I'll let people do shows here, people will show up. But yeah, if it's fucking uncomfortable and weird and sounds like shit, they're not coming back. Yeah. Yep. You know, most of the bar venues in this city make enough money in one night to fix all of their PA problems. If they have PA problems. Live sound gear is not that expensive. Especially for the size rooms that a lot of these places are. And a lot of these places, they don't even need full upgrades. It's like, oh, it's like their speakers are fine, but their soundboard is shit. Or they just need new cables, like very simple things. It's not, I mean, it's not cheap. It's not like here's 20 bucks, fix the problem. But it's like, listen, a thousand bucks for you. I know that kind of sucks, but you're a bar. Your markup on alcohol is ridiculous. And people are going there for the experience. If they want to just drink, they can buy a six pack and go sit at home. You know, they're go when you go out to the bar, you're going out for the people. That's a very the good experience. point. And we make it comfortable. Make it comfortable. And and if you're a dive bar, fine. Rock the dive thing. I have nothing against dive bars. But like make sure your bathroom's decent. Have decent sound. So if people are coming to you know to your bar to hear music, have someone there that cares, you know, and and so many don't. And they just want the benefits of music. But they don't want to have to support it in any way. And yeah. I think that's that's that old school idea. Uh, I've heard musicians complain on about sound on a regular basis. So I think it's a huge, you know, a huge thing that could be fixed pretty easily. Yeah, I, I do.